morning guys it's a chilly Sunday morning uh, it's pretty misty outside we're just gonna pack the boat now and we're gonna head to Cape Point target some yellowtail and katonko and yeah we'll see you guys at the slip when we launch there we go we are on our way to the harbour now harbour island Gordon's Bay it's gonna be very misty today it's just past seven Pretty misty, so we're just gonna draw some Rapala stall the mist lift so we can check the birds and then start spinning for them. We're just gonna put the rapids out quick. There we go, just went tight on the rapid. Look like a katonko. Guys, so here's the katonko we caught earlier today. As you can see, we bled it uh, in order for it to be a better quality, as it's not really known for uh, eating species. This mostly shark bait or cat food, as the people say. 
Um, but I bled it and it's actually quite a nice fish and I'll show you guys how to cook it later. I'm gonna just normally fillet it. Just cut behind its pecs on both sides. And just fillet it down the back. And then the belly section we're gonna cut out as it's very soft. I might use that as shark bait or cook it at a later stage. You're literally just pulling the skin off. Now we're just going to fillet them. There's one fillet. Okay, there's the other for that. Okay, now that we're gonna cook, this is shark bait. All right, so we clean the fish now, we filleted it. I'm just gonna cut it into some more manageable pieces. As you can see here, there is a bloodline on the katonko. So we're just gonna cut that out. There's normally some bones on the bloodline as well. And it's a uh, darkish meat, which is not the best. So we're just gonna cut that out and then we're gonna eat the rest. As you can see, there's still a bit of dark meat there. I'll cut that out just now. But here you can see it's mostly just dark meat on the bloodline with a bunch of bones as well. See, there you can see most of that dark meat is out. Here's the bloodline, it's all just dark meat. So we're gonna just cut into smaller manageable blocks, probably just half the size. The big one's probably three, size, three pieces. Nice pink meat you get out of that. Look at that. Alright guys, now after we cut the katonko, as you can see here, I just beat some eggs, four eggs, into a, like a nice consistency. Then I've got some uh, self-raising wheat flour. Just put a lot of that in and then a tiny bit of the southern coating. Just, it's actually for chicken, but I just put a little bit, it just gives it a little bit of extra spice in it. And then, here on the side you can see, I've got some... It's mini cheddars. And I just left this here to show you that it's mini cheddars. And I just crushed it mostly in the packet and then the rest with the spatula thing. I'll show you now how to put it all together. So now we're just taking the piece of katonko. You're going to get your hands a bit dirty here. It's not my favorite part. Dip it in the egg. Let it drip a bit. Into the flour. Then just quickly back into the egg. Just once. Let it drip again, and then into the mini cheddars. Now you'll see the mini cheddars grabs it very nicely. And there you go. Now it's going to make it nice and crunchy. Just going to do it with a couple other pieces. All right. So now we've done all the katonko pieces. I was just, I've already put in a test piece and it, the oil is at the right temperature. I'm just going to put a couple of pieces in. Just want to get both sides just to stick for first. There we go. And that's going to cook for about three to four minutes and then we're going to be done with it. Okay, as you can see, it's a lovely golden color now on both sides. I think it's ready. When you're done, especially with a, when you're working with oil, just put it on a little plate with paper towels just to drain the excess oil. I'm just going to put the rest in here. I'm just going to cook the rest and then we'll show you the end result. As you can see, there's a couple pieces missing. We always taste and well, sometimes we have too many tasters and then there's nothing left. But we always just have a taste before we eat it. So yeah, we're gonna make a green salad with this now, and then we're gonna dine. All right, everything's done now, made a little Greek salad. Oopsie. There we go. Gonna get myself a piece of fish. And there we go, just gonna put some lemon juice on this. All right, thank you very much. Please subscribe to catchcook.com 
and uh, leave a like and a comment if you must and uh, yeah thank you guys have a lovely evening